Tulsa Jewel could soon be forced to shut its doors for good. The executive director of the Tulsa Air and Space Museum says it's getting hard to keep it afloat. News Channel's Daniel Barr is live tonight with efforts from a lawmaker to save it. Daniela. Mark, every year the museum says 30,000 students walk through those front doors. And last year, they say they had a shortfall of $30,000. Now a Tulsa lawmaker is hoping to help them save every penny. Through every exhibit, the Tulsa Air and Space Museum's mission is to honor the past and inspire the future. We're kind of the looking glass into the aviation industry for the teachers and the parents and the kids. They, they come out here and they learn more about the, the jobs and careers that are available. You know, Executive Director Tanya Blancet says that future is in financial limbo. We've cut as many expenses as we can. Just to pay for utilities. Um, I'm very concerned about that. I've done a projection and it could be anywhere between 15 to $20,000 extra in just our heating costs for, until May. So I'm, I'm very worried about that. Even though the museum is a nonprofit, Blancet says under Oklahoma law, they aren't exempt from paying sales tax. Every dollar counts towards keeping this Tulsa jewel shining bright. If things do not improve, it could be this year. I would say months. We got to keep that museum uh, in, in, and its presence in our community. State Representative John Waldron is proposing a bill to exempt the museum from paying state sales tax on purchases. This would allow them to purchase exhibits and other materials they needed. And this uh, measure, at a very small cost to the state, would be a big boost for that important institution. This bill, um, it's not the fix-all, but it sure definitely will help. Blancet says it could save them about twenty to twenty-five thousand a year. Every dollar is important to a nonprofit. And the museum says since COVID, donors have cut back on how much they contribute to the museum, which has made things a lot harder. We're live from the Tulsa Air and Space Museum in North Tulsa, Danielle Barra, News Channel Eight.